One of the first school districts in the state to reopen is now seeing a rise in COVID cases, and that has parents and staff worried. The spreading Delta variant has caused new cases to spike throughout the county. That includes the South Bay, just as students in the Sweetwater Union High School District returned to campus for their new year. News 8's Shannon Handy talked with one worried teacher and the district on their response. Carlo and Jesse, out of nearly 40,000 students and staff, the district has recorded 58 COVID cases since reopening less than two weeks ago. Now, while that may not seem like a lot, one teacher we heard from says he's concerned if safety protocols don't change, things will just get worse. This is an active, ongoing conversation among the teachers. Dr. Thomas Lee is a science safety. teacher at East Lake High School, where as of Monday, eight COVID cases have been reported. This chart lists the number of cases at all Sweetwater Union High School District campuses. There have been 58 so far, just 0.14% of the district's 40,000 students and staff. Among Dr. Leet's concerns, the district's quarantine policy, which mandates anyone with COVID stay home for 10 days and then return with a negative test. But when it comes to those in contact with that person, if they're vaccinated, they can remain on campus as long as they're symptom free. If they're not vaccinated, they could still stay if they agree to a series of COVID tests over a 10 day period. The problem is that quarantine only works when you actually isolate the people who are contagious. And with this coronavirus, people are contagious before they have symptoms. The district has already canceled after school activities for the next four weeks, including dances. Sports are still allowed. Dr. Leach says that's a start. But what about other events like an assembly planned at his school later this week where masks are not required since it's outside? Our teachers association representatives on site had a very vigorous conversation last night about this assembly, about the safety of things on campus. Is it really safe for us to be open at all? A district spokesperson tells you a policies are based off of guidance from the CDC, San Diego Public Health Department, and the County Office of Education. Adding COVID cases on campuses are expected given the overall rise in the surrounding community. The cases are rising within the community. And so what we're finding is that that community spread has made its way onto our campuses. Dr. Lee does credit the district for following current protocols, but says he and his fellow staff members plan to voice their concerns to the board, hoping they'll make some adjustments. We should be erring on the side of over quarantining people not under quarantining people. A district spokesperson says they will consider adding extra safety protocols. Nothing planned as of yet, but they are closely monitoring the situation.